Coming at you from the OLR Podcast Studio. Eh, it's really more of a basement. Coming to you from the OLR Basement Studio. But it's still a podcast. Coming to you from the Podcast Basement Studio. Yeah, but you still need to say OLR. Coming to you from the OLR Podcast Basement Studio. Oh, that's way too many words. Coming at you. That's not enough. You still need to say OLR. Let's just start. It's OLR. All right, welcome to tonight's uh, One Lane Road podcast. You guys are probably going to get a, more than a couple episodes tonight. Me and Luke is going to put in the long hours here in the uh, the studio. Slaving. Tonight. It's uh, it's been my fault. We'll talk about on the normal episode. We'll put out separately than this one. But we we have two guests joining us tonight. Uh, the first of which we just conduct an interview with um, Addison Johnson, one of my favorite musicians, who's been burning up this area with uh, many shows. He's going to talk about. Um, Addison joined us to talk about um, opening for Chris Knight recently in Salina. He'll be back in Salina this Saturday for a uh, Obi River Oktoberfest. He just done a tour of Europe, and he will be on the North Springs Music Festival on October 23rd. So all of that on the interview here with Addison Johnson. Addison Johnson joined us. Addison joined us back several months ago, and he's getting uh, real familiar in this area, in the Gainesboro and Salina area, uh, playing shows um, pretty, pretty frequently these days. So uh, how are you tonight, Addison? Hey, good guys. Appreciate you having me on. Yeah, man. Uh, excited to been playing that area a bunch, and uh, everybody there has treated me treated me so good. It's uh, it, I've enjoyed to basically keep coming back. And so well, we've got a you know I had the Chris Knight show this year, and you know we we've got a couple of others coming up as well, as well as you know over there at the Bull and Thistle occasionally as well. So it's uh, it's been good, man. It's been a fun year. It's been good just to get back on the road. Well, you mentioned Chris Knight, so we'll, we'll do that one first. And um, you know, I know Chris was a was a big influence of yours, you know, especially from your songwriting aspect. Um, how how was that over in Salina? You know, we had a long day over there. And, um, what can you tell us about your experience opening for Chris Knight there in Salina a couple weeks ago? Yeah, I mean, it was amazing. You know, anytime you get to um everything in this business is so hard uh, right and uh, the breaks breaks never come easily uh even though it might look like that from the outside a lot of times is you know uh, l- luck is you know when comes with a lot of preparation and so getting opportunities like that is something we really strive for this year and somebody like chris knight that has influenced my songwriting a ton just purely from a story aspect you know he's such a great story writer and so to to kind of go up there and throw my own versions you know story songs at at his fans and stuff it was a great opportunity for me um just a just an amazing crowd there too you know they they were so receptive and and you know had had really nice things to say after the show and you know it was just a overall just a Really, really cool experience, um, and I'm looking forward to hopefully doing more of those coming up. It was a nice little place over there. You know, people think about places like Salina, and they don't think about, you know, nicer venues. And, of course, it's just a fairgrounds building, but that's a, that's a perfect little setup for a nice show with a stage in the back, you know, backstage area. And um, Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, th- and that crowd, you know, I mean, you know, we all want to play as big as crowds as we possibly can, but, you know, for – for story songwriting and and stuff like that 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 type of crowd that 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 a crowd of that size really works perfect for that you know you, you start getting into the you know four or five thousand people and stuff like that and you know you setting up um stories and stuff like that can kind of fall on deaf ears a little bit yeah. so um yeah, that was just a it was a perfect night all the way around you know, Chris was great, and and his band was great, and it, it was just, it, it was definitely in my top five shows for the year, um, and we've done a bunch of them, so it was a, it was a really cool experience. You know, that's one thing on the promotional side of things. When I tried to uh, talk town into coming here, I say, you know, you know, look, listen, we're uh, we're in the middle of nowhere, the very rural area. This is not a fa- – uh, wherever I take these shows and have them, we're, we're, it's never a flashy venue. Hell, it's not even a venue. But I always preface it by saying the uh, the, the crowd is going to more than make up for it because they're going to give you 
attention now towards the end of the night of Chris's, as I alluded to the other night. You know, the crowd got a little rowdy towards the end of Chris's set and maybe weren't listening as well. But I tell you what, you had them, uh, you had them in the palm of your hands, and I had several people tell me even they said, "Man, Chris is Chris is going to have to step up to uh to uh, you know." match what Addison just brought to the table. And, you know, I'm not just saying that because we're talking to you. That was real life quotes. And I know you gained a lot of new fans, like I told you that night, as you come off stage because people were really hyping you up up there. And uh, I, mean, I, I thought that yeah, was man. great exposure. No, yeah, I mean, that's just, you know, <laughs> especially opening for somebody like him, man. You know, like those are that, – that's – I mean, those are really special – you know, comments and stuff. You you always want to go up there and 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 have a great show, and especially in big moments like that. Um, for for relatively, you know, I've I've been doing this for a long time, and are bigger in some circles than others. You know, but um, on as far as like a huge national scene artist, you know, that's something that we're working towards. I'm I'm not there yet, so ha- having having opportunities like that are are so huge for for me and and my success because it's you know it's overall a proving ground you know what as a story songwriter what what opportunity could you look for more than opening up for chris knight sure. i mean that um you know that the rest of the guys that you could that you can name on a list you know we've got a couple living today like ed and and hayes carl and guys like that but if you talk about you know who else could you do that for you know a lot of them aren't around anymore guys like john prine and and people like that you know so i mean it was just a it it was one of those shows you know because i've opened up for several people over the years and some things fit better than others you know some crowds says a lot of like you know i've opened up for confederate railroad this year you know and and their fans want to get rowdy you know that they want to have a good time like they're they're waiting for the chorus and the hook of that song and that's about it (laughs) you know (laughs) and so they're they're not uh that they they want it fast and in a hurry and and want something that's gonna make that beer go down easy (laughs) and so getting get with somebody like chris where people you know that they know what to expect going into it it sets up what i want to do really well which is overall you know tell stories get get people um diving into the song with me as i'm going through it yeah i thought it was a perfect fit when i was when i was building that show i thought you know from from a songwriting um outlook i thought man addison will fit that bill perfectly so i'm glad we got to make it work but you know you've opened for red shahan who's a uh, uh, people in the texas country scene would know then uh, yep. K- kendall marvel who probably doesn't get enough uh, recognition sure. for some of his songwriting i know you you went up up north and played with him but uh, yep. i'd really like to touch touch with you on this uh this europe trip you just came off of you know tell me about your yeah, experience man. where you played and what you yeah. got into yeah, man, it was absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, not not only my my first shows in Europe, my first time leaving the United States, period. And so it was kind of like sending a redneck to the moon. Um, <laughs> it was uh, it, it was amazing, man. They they took such great care of us. Um, you know, I, I hopped off the plane and 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 somebody took my bags for me and we, we hopped in an escalate limousine and headed up to the <laughs> ski and spa resort and i'm like what what in the hell is going on you know <laughs> just like uh, i mean and the people were just so nice and I, the the festival is called the country and barbecue festival and it and it's in uh Liechtenstein, oh. um which is just across from sweden and um you know man it, it was so crazy about that place i i could sit here and talk for two hours about the experience but you know, it, I I do like for the the past eleven weeks up to that show, I had probably driven a thousand miles a week going to shows. And you look and you talk to people, and they're like, "Yeah, you know, Austria is twenty five minutes away, Germany is forty minutes away, and Italy's an hour away." I'm wow. like, "Man, I drive four hours to get to Indianapolis." <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but just huge crowds every night, thousand, two thousand people, and just the, super into it, super happy to um, uh, have Americans there, and 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 overall, it was it was just incredible um, for me as a you know as an artist that's still uh, that's still climbing that ladder to have something like that because I, I believe um, we're already in conversations with 
going over there next year, doing that festival, possibly doing Italy and the UK. And um, so I think we're going to try to make it a yearly thing, which is just incredible, man. I, you know, probably the coolest experience of it all was I was, um, I I can't remember if it was Friday or Saturday night, but I I would go up there and I would do a solo show to start for about 40 minutes and then the band would come up and join me I, I, just an unbelievable band from the uk hmm. and we kicked into rolling stolen as the opening song for um for the band and as soon as we hit the course i watched about six people jump up and just started screaming the lyrics back towards the stage wow. hmm. and th- they had got into it you know when they heard that i was coming and stuff and for me you know I'm sitting there like trying not to get choked up while sing- while singing a song about a guy still in a Chevelle. It was just a, it was really a special experience and, you know, g- g- gave me the confidence that, you know, that, that I can, that I can hang with those guys and, and I, and I can do that. And it, it was just extremely humbling um, to, to have that. And I, I can't wait to do more of it. Yeah, I could tell how, I mean, obviously how proud you were just from your social media post. You know, I, you looked like a little kid in a, in a yeah. toy store, every yeah. picture you took, you know, and yeah. you know, I was proud for you as a, as a, somebody I call my friend now these days. And uh, so, you're, but it doesn't, it doesn't stop from there. You know, you go from Chris Knight to, uh, to Europe. And now this weekend we're playing the, uh, the OB River Oktoberfest in Salina, back in Salina already after a, a month uh, for, uh, Yankum Custom Tackle putting that show together with uh with some folks down in Salina, yeah. and uh yeah opening opening for you is uh the girl who opened for the show in Salina also uh Cherokee yeah Upton. Cherokee yeah yeah no man it's gonna be a lot of fun you know yeah Yankum Custom Tackle has been great to me as a as a fishing sponsor and and as a music sponsor really I mean they've uh that they, they've done a lot to uh, to support me with uh, coming out with my own jig line and stuff that we carry in and Obi river market and you know i, I don't even know if i'm gonna recognize Obi river market in the day in the daylight because i'm usually there about five in the morning getting a sausage <laughs> biscuit and heading to del hollow so right. um, I'm, I'm i'm really lo- i'm looking forward to that I, I hope we can get uh get some people to come out and and support that place is they certainly do a lot for the uh for the fishing community uh, especially in that area that small mouth country so got okay, got a lot of cool things uh, going on for that and then you know m- and then also i mean without question what we have a huge festival coming up with north spring so um and you know that lineup for that is absolutely incredible oh yeah we'll we we'll definitely got to talk about that before you get off um off here yeah. tonight but uh so so it's at the ob river market that's where the that's where yeah. the sh- your, your show what yeah. time what time yeah, are you going that's on where it's gonna be um uh, i believe the show will start at two thirty. A Cherokee is going to kick us off, and um, and then I'll hop on there just after that. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll have it we'll have it wrapped up and have everybody back for the uh, college football night game, and uh, <laughs> you can come out and and enjoy a show, pick up some pick up some fishing gear, and enjoy what what looks like is going to be a beautiful day uh, out in uh, Central Tennessee. So, no, that's over there by where the old one stop is at. Right, it's, Lucas. It's at fifty-seven fifty Burksville Highway, Salina, Tennessee. Yep. So yes, it's out. Okay, out that way. Yep. Yeah, you guys in the Salina area this weekend. That's uh, that's this Saturday, October second, Cherokee uh, Upton and Addison Johnson two thirty um, out there at the. I forget what we used to call it. It's just one stop, wasn't it? Yeah, just it was just market. one stop, but it, a long stop. time ago. Now it's. The OB River Market, so that's yeah. exciting, and uh, you know, also you know, so we'll finish up here. We're talking about the music festival, but uh, you know, be remiss to say Yankum Custom Tackle also just joined on to be a sponsor for North Springs Music Festival, and I, I reckon I probably got you to thank for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, know. you know, they um, I will, without spilling all the beans, um, they, they they're gonna they're located out of Chattanooga. And uh, they're going to be making um, an investment into this area, uh, which is that that north central Del Hollow kind of area. And so, you know, and really focusing on uh, uh, helping fishermen around there catch more fish. And, you know, I talked to uh, Wally, who is the the owner of Yankum, and I was like, man, we have this just amazing festival coming up. And I felt like it would be a 
great you know it's our his base are already really well known uh around that area but i thought it'd be a a great introduction for him for people that didn't know about him for um to see what we all have to offer as far as uh getting into the community so uh really excited to uh to be partnered up with them and for them to be there uh it should it should be really really cool yeah wally we talked briefly on the phone the other night it seemed like a really nice guy and he said he would be at the festival helping you um, at your merch table, which all you guys need to go and buy some music, buy some t-shirts. If it, if anybody's wondering what Yankum, how to spell it, it's Y-A-N-K-U-M. It's literally Yankum. Yankum Custom yep. Tackle. They'll be introducing yep. their new Arctic Fox Jig Color Roadkill at the Obi River Market Saturday. Come out and see Addison Johnson perform and see his new signature jig colors, he says. Yeah, and man, it's been so cool. I, you know, I I, I got to be the first country music singer ever to have his own line line of jigs. <laughs> I would have to <laughs> imagine, know? yeah. And um, you know, w- when we first got into this, you know, I've always I've always been a really dedicated fisherman and stuff like that, and I've done my best over the years to try to combine my two loves because I think they both have something to offer to each other. And um, and you know, we started putting these jigs together and it, it kind of just all flowed so easily and started bringing, bringing them to shows and man, they were selling out some, I mean, selling more than some of my other merch items that are, you know, music related. You know, we, we've got, we've got four colors out right now. We've got bonfire, blue eyes, red, Cumberland river 58 and rock and rye all, all named after uh, songs that I've written and recorded. <laughs> so it's uh it, it's kind of a cool little niche. So what can what can our uh, listeners expect to see from you? And your uh, you probably have a, you know uh, forty five minutes or so at the festival. I uh, would think to get out there. Uh, what, what can first time you know listeners or uh, participants at the festival expect to see from Addison Johnson set? Yeah, we're we're, we're going to take them on one hell of a ride. I, I can assure you that. <laughs> um, uh, we're I'm gonna when I love playing these these sets like this that are you know big crowds and 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 and, you know not not a two and a half hour set because i get to take all my best songs and cram them in 45 minutes (laughs) and and so uh you know it's gonna be gonna be a lot of story songs and um and a lot is gonna happen to these four people in my songs Mm -hmm. and so it's gonna teach you a a whole lot of lessons and it's gonna be a lot of fun too so um, I'm, I've really, I've had that one circled on the calendar for a long time now. And I know you and I have talked at it for links. You've put in such a ton of work and, um, I'm, I, that's one that I'm really, really excited to play. Yeah. For people listening, you know, just for, um, Addison right now, the, the, uh, festival is headlined by Alex Williams and his full band, um, Julie Roberts in full band. It changed last night and she was just going to be acoustic. Now she's bringing her, um, full band as well. Um, Addison with uh, the Rye Davis out of Kentucky, uh, Logan Halstead, the young 18-year-old upstart who's making a lot of waves online, um, more local bands, Smoky Nights and Caleb and Leanne, and also Mike DeMeza, um, who people see play pr- pretty frequently around here in these uh, Gainesboro and Salina bars and also in the Nashville area. But So as a fan, if you get to kick back you know, and go to the merch stand and before or after your set, who are you looking forward to seeing the most there on October 23rd? Well, it, it's like you. Uh, it's like you went through the, my contacts and hired all my buddies uh, for the <laughs> festival. So um, I, I'm probably going to do a little heck, a little heckling and a little cheering at the same time. No, I mean <laughs> literally, some, some of my best friends are 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 in this lineup. Um, Alex um, being one of them, I, I actually consider Alex to be like part of my family. Man, me and him have been doing this uh for a it's it feels a lot longer than 10 years uh we actually worked at the ford dealership together in franklin and mm-hmm. when i say worked we pretty much um we pretty much came in hung over and and listened to waylon jennings records for about eight hours a day that was our contribution to the ford dealership <laughs> down there and uh alex is just an unbelievable talent and um uh, one of the best writers i've ever met just understands country music so well and and rye as well rye is just another fantastic talent me and him have actually been talking about maybe doing a little tour together next year and man the the lineup is just so killer and you know logan he's been doing 
doing really big things. You know, I follow, I've uh, been following him and Cole and um, that, that, that Kentucky area, man, that they're, they're pumping out some good ones right now. So yep. you, you definitely want to get a ticket if you're, if you're one of those people that maybe aren't the beer truck girl, top 40 Nashville kind of person, and you want to see a country music show that, that really is the heartbeat of the independent artist today, this is at, at a very high level, I would say. This is definitely a concert that you want to attend. I would agree. I'd, I'd sign off on that. I believe I am signing off on it every day. It seems <laughs> like on some, yeah. some, some sort to... Uh, uh, luckily, we have a lot of great sponsors supporting this event, who I'll have to read at the end of this podcast because I damn sure owe them a lot <laughs> for what they've given to me. So, yeah, um, yeah, man, I'm excited. You know, you mentioned Cole Chaney. Uh, I'm a big fan of Cole. He's coming to this area uh, on December 11th. I tried to wiggle him on. I thought it'd be a really cool spot to have him and Logan on a, on a set together. Sure. Um, but um, he had prior commitments to this date, so we we have worked out where. Um, Sydney Adams, you're probably familiar with from Kentucky as well. Yeah. She, she's playing here November 6th, and then Cole will be December 11th. So it's not over. You know, I thought, I thought, man, I'm going to plan one big music festival this year, North Springs on my farm, then boom, Chris Knight fell on my lap. Yeah. And then I found out Cole Chaney was one of the hottest things going, and <laughs> I thought, well, let's keep on going with this. So now shows in September, October, November, and December, then then I get to take my family to Disney, like when you win the NBA championship, you know. Oh, we're going uh, yeah, to man, I, 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 I'd like to think that, uh, especially being, being being an independent artist and being around it so much, I, I kind of have an inside ear on, you know, just what what's coming out and, and what's going to happen. And the, I, I probably heard Cole Chaney for the first time about a year and a half ago, and the first time I heard him, I was like, yep, He's going the distance <laughs> without, without a doubt, without question. Um, you know, he's, he's, he, he's gonna, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do huge things. He's, you know, I know he gets a lot of those, uh, Tyler, you know, comparisons, but he's a completely different artist and writer than that. He, he has his own, uh, special brand of, of country music. And it's, a uh, it's really special, man. He, he's a, he's a young guy and he, he's, he's going to do a lot of things very quickly. So I'm glad you were able to do, uh, snatch him up before he was, uh, before he was charging you 40 grand a show. Uh, man, I'm telling you, I really f- have that feeling. I'm like you, I don't get the ch- uh, children's comparisons other than them being, you know, young and the area from where they're from and some of the content sure. they write about, but yeah, it is a completely different sound. And, you know, maybe Logan could be lumped up more in that Childers. You know, he, he covers a lot of Childers songs. Is probably why. But um, yeah, I think I think we probably got a steal in that one for for what we negotiated for December. And I'm just uh, just gotta find somewhere to put him now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. No, it, that's gonna be one one heck of a show for sure. And I mean, the the whole festival is, is going to be too. You know, if it touch back on that, just the. Uh, that that was the thing when you were putting it together and I kept seeing the artists pop up, you know, I, and I keep going back to Alex. I, Alex has just done, he's, he's, his resume, you know, is, is pretty remarkable for the music that he plays. And, and I say that because not, I would say very, very few um, independent artists, even the guys like that we love, like, uh, like a Hayes Carl or an Edie or, you know, somebody like that have not accomplished what Alex has in a very short amount of time mm. of, with the, with the outlaw, you know, I, I hate saying outlaw, but that, that independent, you know, country Southern rock sound that is so opposite of the shiny Christmas ornament that Nashville's putting out. And, you know, whether it was uh, on the road with Skinner or on the road with Hank Jr. playing the Opry, you know, it, he's just, he's done so much and it's going to, it's going to be a really special show. You know, I, it's been a, it's been a long time since I've seen Rye play too, you know, look forward to seeing Julie play and, and all them as well. So, I mean, it's gonna, I'm, I, I got into, you know, being a singer songwriter and stuff first and foremost, cause I'm, I, I'm a fan, <laughs> you know, sure. I'm a fan of the, I'm a fan of the genre and I, I try to be one of its biggest students if I, if I can be. And, you know, that's not only learning from, um, you know, George Jones and Willie Nelson and Chris Christopherson, that's, that, that's learning from my peers too. Um, because, you know, that they bring something 
something different. Every artist does bring something different to the table. And, you know, it's definitely uh, out of all the tickets, you know, that are sold in this area um, all over Tennessee this year, this is not one that you're going to want to skip out on. No, I I agree with you. And like you said, you've known Alex for, you know, for a long time, as you mentioned, but I just feel like for whatever reason, maybe just because he's got the one album out still, of course, the second one should drop any, any time really. Um, mm-hmm. I just feel like he's being slept on so much. And that's what I keep telling people when they're not as familiar with him. I said, well, do you like Cody Jinx? They said, oh yeah, I love Cody Jinx. I said, well, he's on tour with him right now. And he just came off tour and I seen he's going to do a show with Whitey Morgan soon. So, you know, and just like you're saying to come see Logan and, and Cole and all these guys that you're putting over, I mean, the same can be said for Alex Williams. I don't think he'll be playing a farm in Whitleyville next year, you know, unless we can build a good relationship with him and get him again. But um, well, and, and, and to kind of give a little insight into Alex, though, um, you know, the, 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 of just the, his character and the kind of person that he is, he loves to play the nastiest little bitty dive bar with with eight people and six teeth total <laughs> and as much as he does love playing the 4,000, 10,000 opening up. You know, he, he truly is just a he's he's a honky tonker through and through and so uh you know he, he he's gonna really be excited to you know me and him haven't got to play one together in a long time so really been looking looking forward to that and uh man it, it's gonna be it's gonna be special oh absolutely and and rye has never disappointed the crowd yet rye has played more shows for me than anybody you're you're getting there. You're right on yeah. Rye's coattails. Um, yeah. But sure enough, I mean, everybody loves Rye. People, people have, people go up to Brandy at the merch table like they're long lost BFFs. You know, she's Brandy's got just as much a following as Rye does, and Rye's, sure. Rye's parents show up. It's just a, it's a big family gathering when Rye and Brandy and and uh, Tim and Connie come down. So uh, I just love the dude. I love the family, and so yeah, man. Um, so for guys listening, you know, if you want to come to the festival, it's on uh, October twenty third, um, Jennings Creek Highway, Whitleyville, Tennessee. All the um, all the ticket price is thirty five dollars for about seven and a half hours of music. Um, you know, it's um, bring your own coolers in. Act like you got some common sense. There'll be two uh, food vendors. Um, there's a barn sale in conjunction with it earlier in the day. And the day prior, so uh, tickets are on eventbrite.com for $35, and it's Addison and a whole crew of... Yep, high, yeah, high. We're, 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 we're bringing the fugitives to Tennessee, <laughs> yeah. um, g- getting the whole gang together. So, I mean, it really, and, you know, I, and I say that, you know, th- these guys and, and girls, you know, uh, might that... that, that if you if you want to if you love original music you're going to get your feel and i can assure you that and you're going to walk home with a bunch of cds and a and a bunch of merch from 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 people that don't fill up your radio you know and i think i said this i I think i said this on this podcast last time i was on here and it's jason isbell quote you know everybody gets so sick of what's coming out of nashville you know and it's it's a it's really simple, you know. You, you you don't have to eat fast food for every meal. You can go to you can get a steak if you want. You just got to look for it, mm-hmm. and and you don't even have to look for it. He's bringing it all to you. <laughs> Dustin's bringing it all. So <laughs> I appreciate um, that. You, yeah, man. So you you can have a bunch of steak. Go home with a bunch of merch, and uh, and and have a really really good time. And because I mean, I, I can obviously speak as an independent artist. You know, we're, we're nothing without. Uh, people that support us and that get in on on independent country music and stuff like that so if if that's your gig or you just want to give us a try you know i mean that this is a great opportunity to do that all right that is uh addison johnson my friends appreciate you joining us i know you're uh you're a busy man today so thank you for uh kicking back somewhere in that uh luxurious van of yours and uh <laughs> talking to us for 30 <laughs> minutes it's a baddest ass Absolutely. baddest ass van i've seen in the business so far yeah man no for sure I, my my little my, my little tour bus does okay um it, it's uh it's definitely got some use this year so uh looking forward to uh getting it some more use for the end of the year and then having a hopefully a great 22 as well uh i can't thank everybody out there for for listening and supporting this podcast and supporting the artists that 
are, are on it. It, it truly, it, it literally makes the wheels turn on the van. So uh, thank you guys very much for having me, and I look forward to seeing you here soon. All right, buddy. I'll see you soon. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks, man. Bye. All right. That was Addison, man. Always, uh, we could have probably talked to that dude for two hours, much like we did the first time. But, um, you know, he's making a, he's making really big waves around here, just playing a lot, lo- you know, a lot of local shows. But for him to play Europe, man, that was a, that was a really big thing. It's really big, right. You know, so, and I'm not kidding about his van. He's he's got like a a blowing air conditioner thing, like <laughs> some kind of like vented thing that it blows out. And he's like, I I pulled out up out there behind him at the uh, Chris Knight show as we were all about to do sound check, and Addison's kicked back watching an NASCAR race on his little <laughs> pullout couch uh-huh. and uh, or bed in there, and a little, all this air blowing. And I was like, man, if it wasn't such tight quarters, I'd roll up crawling there with you. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh. Uh, as we wait for our second guest, I may do a quick little plug here. Go and uh, so, the North Springs Music Festival obviously does not happen without so many of the great sponsors. And we know I had probably 15 to 16 sponsors last year. Man, people have just reached out uh, by the dozens this year to help out and support. It doesn't, it costs quite a bit of money to run these shows. And I couldn't do it without these folks here. And uh, to run down the list real quick Brenda Keith, Don Franklin Chevrolet, Johnson's Auto Parts, Duffer Excavating, Dent Force. Fox Florist and Gifts, Realty Firm and Auction, Gainesboro, The Dairy Burger, Anderson Upper Cumberland Funeral Home, Mission 931, Katrina's Closet, H&H Hardware and Lumber Company, Browns Farms, RBS Market, RBS Wine and Liquors, Hannah Smith at the Hare Haven, Tennessee Diesel Performance, Brick Nutrition, Aminette's Eagle Auction and Realty, Tierra Brown, Attorney at Law, Macon Collision, Miller Family Dentistry, Cutting Edge Metalworks, Country Cabin Market, Bray Family Health and Wellness, Music City Toys and Collectibles, Helen's Restaurant, Happy Sack, Hermit Springs Grocery, Vita Hicks, TriStar Beverage, which is also Budweiser in Cookville, Clay County Farm Supply, Jimmy White Attorney at Law, Yankum Custom Tackle, JB's Barbecue, Winona Thomas, BJ Upchurch with Prime Perimeters LLC, McFarland Creek Outdoors, and Keith Farms. So. And so thank you to each and every one of you guys for, uh, for your donations and sponsorship. Um, all you guys will have names of your business on T-shirts, banners, and um, also mentioned on this podcast just like right now and also social media presence. Thank you to each and every one of you guys. It doesn't happen without you.